Zdravstvo, Tjotorishi, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another nice day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we continue to make progress across the board. There's of course plenty to do, so I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. I'll just mention as always, folks, that if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in high-approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. Again, I do read through each and every comment to see your thoughts, opinions, suggestions, ideas, anecdotes, criticisms, whatever it might be. I read through it all, and I try to respond in one way or another. Whether that means in words in the comments themselves, in words during a video, or in actions over the course of the development of our glorious nation. Folks, with all that said and done, let's get this party started, shall we? How beautiful does this game look sometimes? Honestly, just especially at this scale, just panning by and seeing all the farmlands and everything, just absolutely breathtaking, honestly. Um, but let's not get too distracted by the beauty of our nation. Let's uh, let's get distracted by the duties. For our nation. God, that was 100% unplanned and unintentional. Um, these these things are always... <laughs> I apologize. I, I don't feel that bad for that one. Not as, not as bad as the mall thing from last time. Um, but, uh, alright, there, there's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. Let's take a quick look at some of these stats and numbers. I feel like it's... I, I want to try and maintain this habit. I know I lost it for a little while at some point, and we didn't start with it, but I do like it. Um, just sort of keeping a track of our population numbers and unemployment and things like that as we move along. And that way, if we ever want to look back at our, you know, growth and stuff beyond just looking at a chart like this, we're actually able to see, uh, you know, how things progress through episodes. It's also why I always try and end things at a similar-ish camera angle so we can see how things have grown. But obviously at this point, the draw distance, rather the, the, the fog kind of blocks a large part of our development from the beginning of this uh, playthrough. It's just wild to think about. By the way, I want to mention something as well that uh, I realize I keep forgetting to mention, but uh, I see lots of comments with regards to uh, hoping for uh, a brief ex explanation of, of what we've done, sort of a uh, uh, Sort of highlighting our, our different plans and moves from, you know, the 100 and, you know, 69 now, including this one, episodes. Um, I see that sort of request or that question come up very often, and I totally uh, understand, like, it's uh, wanting to sort of catch up with this series without having to watch 160 plus hours of footage. More than, because there are some episodes out there that are an hour and a half long or an hour 15. Um, and I, I totally hear that. It's become such a massive series when it was only supposed to be 10 episodes long. Uh, and to those of you who are wondering if something like that exists or if I plan on doing something like that, the recent, uh, the most recent time we did something like that was episode 150. We kind of did a tour of the nation and we highlighted all of the various uh, parts, both old and new. Uh, so I would say that's a great opportunity to do a bit of a catch up. Uh, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is not just to sort of answer all those questions I've seen, but also to put forth a question of my own. Episode 175 is not that far away. Do we want to do another tour for episode 175, or do we wait until episode 200, which is really also not that far away at this point? Uh, I feel like we have made some progress between uh, 150 and 175. I mean, of course, we've made some progress, but I feel like it's been pretty compact. I feel like it's like, I mean, yes, this has expanded massively. I mean, did, oh man, was Petrograd? Yeah, I think we just started Petrograd at episode 150, right? Uh, so there are a lot of new parts to explore. A lot of development has taken place, but I wonder if it's enough to warrant an entirely new tour or if we wait until, yeah, episode 200. So I just want to I want to get your opinion on that. But yes, again, just to reiterate, for those of you who are just joining us because you've come across this for, you know, in one way or another, and you're just like, wow, I don't want to watch 160 plus uh, hours of, uh, you know, of of this game just to be caught up. Uh, totally understandable, of course. Um, part of the, the, I guess, curse of doing longer series. But that's why we do try and have tours uh, relatively often. Episode 150 uh, was the most recent one. Pretty sure it was 150. It was either 150 or 151. I'm pretty sure it was 150, uh, and that'll catch you up nicely. And then, uh, and from then on, I think things will start to make a bit more sense. Um, but anyway, with that said, let's uh, let's continue uh, making all this progress that uh, that we've been making. We've we've gained a lot of momentum actually over these last 25 episodes. Things have started coming together. A lot of the uh, games uh, mechanics and stuff have smoothed out as well, including the clone tool that has made a lot of these things. Uh, a lot less painful to execute, like the, the the replication and whatnot. So I think momentum has been picking up quite uh, quite nicely. On on which note, we've actually made a lot of a lot of progress. I, I forgot just how much progress we made over here. Maybe maybe we won't pay for this. Maybe we won't pay for this. Maybe we'll just let the people um, 
do it all. I mean, the only thing that I'm tempted to pay for are these roads over here, because right now it's slowing down the construction. It's blocking, rather, the construction of these uh, complexes. But then again, as I say that, I realize that I don't think we need them uh, so urgently. What I do want to do, though, is where are some of our other construction offices? Um, Zavotsk over here, the huge one, I believe has these guys assigned, right? Like, uh, maybe already complete. Go ahead and make sure some of these are assigned over here. Uh, I think it was, it was pointed out in the comments. I'm just like, why not just get these guys to work over here as well? And I could have sworn that Zavotsk's huge construction office already had these assignments. Uh, but I feel like some of the other construction offices we have up over here have not been given these assignments. So let's go ahead and give them the assignments first before we resume our... Oops. Um, why don't we just... There you go. Well, that's not going to help all that much. Uh, but yeah, I say we go ahead and um, assign these guys, hit play, and then we'll continue to work on our uh, our efforts down south with the new sources of employment. Again, I took a look at the comments. I actually got some really great suggestions, um, literally speaking, drawn out suggestions uh, for how I might want to approach some things, some, some really great ideas. So I will be uh, implementing some of those um, suggestions. And, uh, and yeah, it seems like there was consensus as well that the uh, air, aircraft construction or, or manufacturing should happen closer to the airport, maybe even so close that we can get a connection to the, uh, the runway, you know, rather than having to fly to the airport for storage or, or what have you, we can just go directly from uh, manufacturing to the terminal. <laughs> I don't know how, how safe that would be. I don't know if you have the opportunity to, to test with that, but I think it, I think it makes sense. All right. Um, all good. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Cool. So this is all good. The other thing we'll want to try and get up and running today finally is the, uh, the this tourist area over here. Um, I feel like as much as we might be trying with these cars, and, and we have quite a few cars up over here actually, uh, as much as we've been trying, I just don't think the concentration of workers is there. This is uh, quite the number of cars, isn't it? It's weird though. It's just like only 25 workers are supposed to be up over here. I, I guess it's just a matter of, yeah, quantity, right? Ease. Public transit, man, compared to a car that's bringing one person over, a bus that's bringing 135 plus or what have you. Like, I mean, obviously, the, the it's all mathematics at that point, right? Uh, we'll sort that out. I'm tempted to sort it out sooner rather than later, but no. I want to try and focus down here first. Not, not down here. That was weird. Down here first. I, like the, I just kept going. I, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's let's get to work over here. Let's go ahead and hit resume. Uh, and uh, yeah, 31st of October, 2001. I wanted to check. Unemployment's looking good, right? Yeah. Unemployment's looking all right. And the 21 pluses. Oh, we've actually done well very recently. I mean, again. Uh, this is, sorry, I meant to check this earlier and it slipped my mind. Uh, but we've done pretty well recently, I would say. So that's uh, that's good to see. That's good to see. Cool. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and resume. Um, now, one thing, one other thing that's been suggested actually is that maybe we should actually keep the passenger line separate from the um, from the cargo line over here, which is, you know, maybe not a, maybe really not a bad idea at all. Um, I don't know. It's difficult. It, it's because these, the oil and bitumen transfer, these trains spend a lot of time up over here in this section. There is plenty of time for passenger trains to go from here uh, down to here. But at one point, there will definitely be interruptions, right? Like when, when fuel is being loaded up over here, which does take some time, when fuel is being loaded up over here, it becomes a bit of a problem, right? Because... A train will be waiting to go in or out, but tightly packed space is a tightly packed space. Now, what I could do is I could have just the one. Oh man, it'd be, it'd be tough. It'd be tough, but it might be the right call. Let's uh, let's 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 try this out. Uh, I want to mention another thing as well. By the way, uh, it's been pointed out that I should maybe instead of using these oil uh, oil rigs, these pump jacks, I should get the mod to. Uh, 
uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, uh, t t the mod to get the oil wells instead because they're a bit more efficient. And I'll definitely be looking into that, but I don't think I want to do that this session. I intentionally did not install that mod uh, for this episode because I know I'd get distracted by it and we'd have yet another episode where we don't make progress on the, uh, <laughs> the little uh, corner over here. I really want to make progress over there. I really want to try and force myself to stay focused uh, and avoid the distractions like what happened uh, last time. So uh, just a little bit of patience there, and we will get those. Uh, we'll take a look at those oil wells uh, that are supposedly a lot more efficient, a lot more effective, a lot more capable of extracting oil. And if we just replace these uh, uh, pump jacks with the wells, uh, it might actually solve our uh, oil production uh, or oil scarcity problem. Which, uh, which is definitely something I would like to uh, solve sooner rather than later. So, again, thank you for that suggestion. Uh, I have noted it down, and I will get on that. But uh, don't hesitate to remind me if I seem to have forgotten. Uh, I'm usually pretty good about that stuff, but uh, with just how dense these episodes and, and this game can get sometimes, uh, I hope you understand that it's uh, obviously unintentional should I mistakenly forget uh, a suggestion over the course of a couple of episodes. Uh, I do note them down. I literally, I, I note them down, but yeah, it can get pretty, uh, pretty wild at times. Um, okay, it does look like we'd be able to, we just have to remove these pipes and adjust them a little bit, but it looks like we would be able to, in a very kind of, uh, awkward fashion over here, but hey, you know what, that's what, what happens when you're retrofitting, um, we should be able to get the train to come over here. Now, one thing that's been pointed out, by the way, uh, I should mention, is, uh, that it's, always makes me so nervous, no, don't demolish, I'm trying to demolish any buildings, it's just these Oops, there we go. Um, it, it's been pointed out that I, I shouldn't hesitate to... Oh, don't do this. Don't do this to me, gang. See, this is the kind of nonsense that I could do without. Alright. Okay. That's frustrating. It won't let me go through here because the road crossings are too tight. I mean, what I could try and do is if I get rid of the road, I don't think... Uh, let's see, I could do this, obviously. But can I get the road to connect afterwards? Nah, it's too close. Do I need this road connection, is the other question. I guess I don't, really. I've got this road connection down over here. So if we do have a fire breakout over here, we will have a relatively easy access from the fire station. Yeah, you know what? Pop up this way, go down this way, go over this way. Uh, hmm. Okay, they'd have to come down over here around and up not too bad it's not perfect it's not too bad either so i guess that's okay i want to try and fit both of these but i don't think i'd be able to all right fair enough uh anyway back to what i was trying to say like three times now it's been pointed out that obviously it is perfectly okay to destroy entire sections um of uh uh you know of, of the pre-existing uh layout in order to make room for new developments. Um, and of course, yes, that goes without saying. In fact, we have done that a few times. If you'll recall, this was many, 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 many episodes ago now. But um, this uh, this train station actually was a smaller train station a long time ago, and we, we did a lot of restructuring over here to implement a larger train station. So it's not something I really shy away from, but it is something I, uh, uh, I, I would only do in the most sort of dire of circumstances, I guess, uh, to, to try and retrofit something. Uh, but yeah, it's not something I've, like, shied away from or anything. It is something that I'm, uh, picky about, though. Oh, don't do this to me, King. Come on now, man. Come on. Uh, let's see if we can't... This is gonna be, uh, this is not gonna let me do this, is it? Now, while I'm actually connecting these... Yeah, is it too tight? I wonder if... Okay. Might be a little funny looking, but let's see. Um, no, that doesn't fly. I don't think this will work. I don't think this will work. It'll maybe worth a shot. Maybe over here. I might need to rework this, actually. I, I don't think the tracks will, will go down here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, fantastic. Go ahead and cancel this track a little bit. Maybe I, I do need to restructure this area. Go up to here. 
will not go through here, okay. Um, go ahead and demolish this element. Going from like a little bit further out now. Let's see if this will proper return. Man. Why you gotta do me like this? Go up and then back down. Some infrastructure's in the way. Alright, I feel I feel like we're close, you know? I feel like the opportunity is there somewhere. Somewhere. Can you imagine the power in these pumps to like force the oil that high up? Ridiculous. Um, where are we? I'm not going to fiddle this with this for too much longer, folks. Just a little bit more. We'll see if we can't get this to work. Building in the way, too sharp of a turn, of course. Come on now. Make the end there. Excellent. Some other infrastructures in the way. We maybe... Pull down this way, and then hook up this way. Come on now. All right, we're close. I feel like we're. I feel like we're close. I feel like this isn't impossible. Maybe nearly impossible. The infrastructure's in the way. Oh no. Yeah, gonna fly. All right, very well. Do that. I don't think I can do this. Please. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure this out separately. But it is it is a serious consideration over here to um to try and make this work, to try and keep the uh, the tracks separate. Uh to prevent the stoppage that would happen when fuel is being picked up over here, fuel and oil. Now I'm trying to figure out Do we like cross over to the other side and try that? Let's see. Go ahead and connect the road over here. Of course, it's not going to... Fine. Auto build you and upgrade that. Okay, excellent. Go ahead and get these pipes in as well. Too sharp of a... Don't... Come on. Oh, come on now. You worked perfectly earlier. This is... Actually stupid. I just had to like change the curve. Is that why, why? Why? Why would you? Okay, listen. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, okay, so what we might want to do over here then is instead of hooking onto this side, maybe we hook onto the other side. Um, in which case, we would like to. Well, first of all, go ahead and pay for these pipes because those are definitely staying there. Go ahead and get the uh, track back out. All right, get rid of you. Pull all this back. Just gotta fix the angle over here, basically. But we're trying to go across. Okay. Okay, come on now. You back as well. And we. Perhaps. It does really not want to cooperate with me here, does it? Not gonna go across the road. I'm gonna have to get rid of that road, and that's fine because now we have fire access up over here, like fire uh, fire truck access up over there. There we go. Building in the way. Okay, barely. Cancel these guys. Cancel this. This is all, by the way, part of our. I I include this construction to be part of this thing because it's all all a matter of this like line over here if you're wondering why i'm letting myself get kind of tied down by this is because i do feel like it's pretty uh pretty important uh it looks like this power line is getting in our way now while i'm doing this i just want to mention i did take a look at the um the uh community update that the developers put out for the upcoming you know the upcoming changes to the game uh, and they actually are addressing something that we've had uh, kind of come up as struggles, I guess, from time to time. They are implementing a way to see um, when your wiring is uh, not functioning. Uh, and, and they're doing this for wiring. They're also doing the same thing for uh, 
uh, for for um, heat pipes as well. Uh, basically, what they're doing is they're creating a system that allows you to see um, broken connections. It allows you to see. This is a really janky kind of a. I go further here. Not really. Uh, yeah, sure, that works. Uh, it'll allow you see. Uh, allow you to see. Sorry, uh, broken connections. It'll allow you to see. Um, from the look of it, it'll actually show you how much like wattage and stuff is going through as well. Uh, so you can see when you have uh, like where you have failures in your in your uh, power um, um, grid. Yeah, that's the word I was like looking. I was like, looking for the word there. Uh, wh where your power grid is failing and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty exciting to to see. Again, the the constant developing uh, is is uh, just it's just so promising. Uh, beyond that as well, there was also mention of uh, helicopters in this latest update. Uh, they didn't say too much, um, only that that is something that's uh, coming up as well. So again, we, we've known that choppers will be a thing for a while, because if we look at list of vehicles... Oh, I guess it's gone now. Alright, fair enough. There, It used to be road vehicles, trains, ships, airplanes, helicopters, uh, but I guess they've... Um, I guess they've tweaked that a while ago. Or am I just imagining things? I could have sworn I remember seeing a helicopter up over here in this art style. Like, a hundred... I'm like 99% sure. But feel free to correct me if uh, if you know better. Um, but yeah, so so that that's uh, what this uh, community update was about from this Friday. Uh, so yeah, interesting stuff coming up. More, uh, more quality of life changes, uh, which is great to see. We've talked about those recently, how this game does need a couple of quality of life upgrades. And the developers clearly know that already. So yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. This is also good stuff. So now, some of y'all might be wondering, wow, this is uh, kind of messy. Well, the reality is that no train is really using this section. And eventually, when a train does use this section, it'll be to bring... Well, you know what? Hmm. Say that. But... I feel like uh, we're never going to actually bring cars from up over here down this way. To go up over there anymore. Now that we're planning on making our uh, our car manufacturing for export down over here, that might not even need to be a consideration anymore. Um, so that might actually work out. Now the other thing we actually need to do though over here is we need to get this um, warehouse connecting up over there as well, right? Because the uh, uh, this is where plastics and all that kind of stuff comes from. So the question is, where do we want to connect it? I guess to the the cargo line. Well, we want to we want to try and bypass this fuel loading still. Well, this will be interesting, actually. Let's go ahead and... Oh, man. Here's some stuff that we did not... Like, just didn't uh, necessarily think all the way through back when we started this development, eh? Um, you want to snap here, don't you? You really want to snap back there, don't you? Okay, let's see. Can we... Because it would it would be okay if... We have a single line over here. Can we get a second one? I doubt it. Maybe, actually. Maybe. We gotta tighten some of this stuff up. Alright. This is not as big of a... Oh, it's kind of funny. I was just talking about, like, um, doing entire reworks. And while this might not be as uh, large as a area rework as we were talking about literally just moments ago, uh, it is bigger than I was initially planning on doing. Uh, go ahead and get rid of you. Oh, come on now. Too sharp of a turn. There we go. Back in my day, we'd have to take sharp turns to school both ways. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the uh, footpath connection. Oh, of course. Building in the way. Come on, man. Again, all about those footprints, right? This will not hook up unless it's over there. Alright, so if I put you down to here, will you... Yeah, okay, good stuff. That should give us a bit more room to play with. Alright, cool. Uh, so now let's take a look at these tracks and see if we can't... Ah. It'll involve nudging this down a bit, which, I, again, we could do. I do believe if we nudge this down, we'd still... Hmm. Where are you getting your power from? Damn it. <laughs> My exact concern. This is basically exactly where it needs to be to power that. Alright, no, we can we can nudge it slightly. We can nudge it slightly. Let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you. And I still don't know if that'll be enough room for the, the track to come through. Come on now, I wish this was faster. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, still there. Still there. Come on. Be gone. Did I not Did I not demolish this thing? It did. There we go. Takes its sweet time. Alright. So the power will come from this side. Alright. Gotta make sure we're like right at the edge of where we need to be. Man. I wish there was an undo button. Off. Yeah, nah, I don't think we're going to be able to fit uh, fit this. Unless we, um, I mean, again, we can draw another power line out from uh, from here, right? Which is probably what we're going to end up doing then. All right, let's, uh, let's do this quickly here. Hook you up. Like... So should be fine. Let's get another one hooked up when we're down over here. Might be a little bit of overkill. Power's coming from here. Like impossible to see in the darkness. Flatten the train a bit. You should be fine here. I don't know if the road connected. Steve, come on. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and auto build you. Get you set up for auto building as well. I just want to like be able to. I, I want to make sure I don't forget any of this stuff after we're done this uh, section. I also don't want to continue working in the dark for too much longer. This makes it somewhat harder to see, not just for me, but also I imagine for you as well. I mean, let me know. Let me know if it's not as bad as I often think it is, but I, I imagine it probably is pretty bad. Um, my other option is to pop a switch down somewhere, but it's like, what's the value in that? We have another line we haven't yet used. Um, I feel like we can probably use it here. Building in the way. There we go. Get you across this way. Maybe pull you up this way. Across this way. There we go. Done. All right, cool. Pay for you, and that should power the uh, refinery. Good. All right, great. We don't want to lose functionality by mistake and then not notice, you know, 10 episodes down the line. So this this uh, pipe needs to be uh, adjusted as well, actually. Go and get rid of this entire section over here. All right, and let's go ahead and get our track down. Now, why are we doing this? That's the real question, isn't it? Why, why are we doing this? This is where I would give you an answer, but right now, I'm putting down some tracks. Right, that, draw you out still. What's the problem here? The sides are too steep. Okay. Flatten them. See if we can't, uh... Right from center this thing? No, of course not. Well, There's actually quite uh, quite a difference in height here. Fair enough. Can we raise the train or anything? No. Not gonna let any of this happen. Oh, come on. All right. Fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're okay. This can go. Perfect. And go up to here. That always have to do it in sections, I think. Not a problem. I had a feeling. All right. So, why are we doing this? Right. Let's answer that question. We are hoping to not only bypass with passengers but also with cargo we eventually want to separate cargo and passengers uh which we are planning on doing over here do we want this to be a double track or do we want to hook back in ultimately i suppose ultimately we hook back in right because fuel loading will block off this section over here so as long as we can go around that there's no reason to have yeah i think that would be fine all right so let's go ahead and actually pull this back a little bit i think this should work again these roads are not like very often used or anything like that so it's fine to have um these uh, overlaps and stuff like not having to like rebuild these as bridges and whatnot all right so if that's the case over here right 
So this is a junction. Yes, you come up over here. Uh, let's go ahead and... I'm tempted to make these all two ways, actually. So you can go whichever way you need to. I guess we'd go mixed, right? Because this way you're going into a junction and this way you're not. Um, though we do need to have a crossing over here where passenger versus cargo gets uh, organized. I don't know if we need a double track over here. I actually kind of feel like we probably don't. Um, but let's go ahead and come in over here. Go ahead and put a crossing down over... Meters in length. Hmm. I forgot where I want to put this crossing down. Line you up over here, sure. In that case... Now, when did I... Did I flip? I, maybe I got this down the wrong way. All right, in that case, both of these are going to be chains, right? Because you, you go up over here. We don't want to be stuck over here, so actually let's cancel those. Put a chain right at the end over here. And so train will come. You know what, actually? Sorry, I know there's a little bit of back and forth going on, but it's just me realizing new problems being born as I as I solve one. We actually want to have much more clearance over here. Because if the, if the passenger trains are long, right, they're 100 meters long, if they're 150 meters long, let's say, just for, you know, posterity, we want to start the crossing over here, roughly. And you know what? Just for, again, posterity, why not go a little bit further? That's 155. Start over here, sure. There you go. There you go. Put these signals down over here. So now a train can get stuck over here. Again, it's 155, right? But like a lot of this is, we don't want a train to be stuck in these last 50 or so meters. So that's about 100, 100 meter length, right? If I recall correctly, that should be okay if we take a look at our um, trains. Um, just want a passenger train. Jump over here. Yeah, 133 meters seems to be... Alright, cool. So that, that, that should be good. Alright, cool. Oh, man. It's, it's become a more involved process ever since I've started measuring the trains and stuff, but I, I feel a lot better for it. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get this over here. So what's going to happen? A passenger train, let's say, is coming through on either side. Um, well, hopefully it'll transition over. Well, I guess actually it would be on either side. It'll start on this right side, though. So let's stick with the right side. No reason for it to switch over. Staying on the right side, staying on the right side. And ultimately it gets to over here and then transfers over. Keeps going on the... Uh... Nope. <laughs> transfers over here. Keeps staying on the right side because passenger trains stick to the right side. Cargo trains will be coming down from the right side as well. Ultimately, they cross over here, and then they have to transfer to the left side because cargo trains can only go to the left side. Okay, fair enough. Now here, passenger trains go up, and over here we should probably have a crossing as well because we want to make sure that one passenger train isn't blocking the entire section. Can we... Right, that should be that 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 makes sense question mark we'll sort this out um next over here so this is one section this is one section this is one section yeah i think that makes Sense. Maybe this needs to be a chain, actually, because there's a junction over here. I might need to have a separate, uh, uh, another semaphore over here. Here, we can go ahead and put down... Alright, it'll take some experimenting. This is a bit more, uh, complex than I'd anticipated, but I think this makes sense. I think this makes sense. The passenger trains will come through, they'll stay to the right side. From this view, it's the top side. They stay to the top side, they keep going, they stay on the top, they do not use this crossing. They stay on the top, they come up to here, and then depending on which of these two are free, I guess they would choose over here, so we don't really need this crossing. My only concern is that on the way back out, I want to make sure they're able to choose which side to go. Well, they'll end up back over here anyway, so maybe we don't need it. Ugh, again, I apologize, folks. Just like, realizing problems and solutions as I uh, as I go through it. The reason why I'm not time-lapsing this, by the way, is because if any part of my thought process is wrong over here, feel free to point it out. 
to, to me that helps me learn this stuff much better than if someone just says um like then if i kind of sped through it because i feel like if someone has advice to give if they know where my head was at they're able to go oh no you're thinking about this the wrong way in this way rather than guessing what i was thinking wrong you, you know what i mean this is something that i don't know i, I don't know why i struggle so much with these trained semaphores <laughs> we've gotten better at it but this is definitely the weirdest thing we've done in a long time I'd rather I should say I've gotten better at it, but that's, it's definitely the weirdest thing we've done in a long time. Um, and it should work. And so, so yeah, passenger train goes this way. And it stays here. I'm just trying to figure out where it might get stuck. It stays here. The train up over here will hopefully be able to... That's the thing, it's like... Damn, I don't... I don't... I don't know... Well, it'll need some adjusting. I think until it's actually working and I can see how it's breaking, I don't think I'll be able to to really figure. Uh, cargo train will only have the one. I don't think we'll ever have two cargo trains operating here, so we'll be fine. Um, we might eventually have a second cargo train. No, yeah, I think that I think we'll be fine over here. All right, cool. Wow. All right, that was uh, that was more than I anticipated. That was a lot more than I had anticipated. Let's go ahead and hit resume over here. Make sure our power lines are all getting built. This one still needs a connection. Um, medium voltage. There we go. Where were you connected to? Ah, see, this is what the, the upcoming update is going to fix. Is you can actually, it'll highlight broken connections. Is this it? I think this is it. This is it. Cool up to here and then hook you up to here all right cool Thank you for that wow all right that was uh that was something you've got power now yes you do good stuff and i want to make sure this thing has power as well yeah missing oil again we'll we'll sort that out later okay okay bit of a messy spot over here but it's coming together it's coming together uh, i do want to Pay for this as well. There we go. Just wanted to make sure I was thinking back on other footpaths that might auto build. Okay, let's wait until the sun rises. I spent enough time working in the dark over here. Um, let's wait until the sun rises and then we can get back to work over here. Uh, again, there were some great suggestions that I will be looking to implement over here. Looks like a lot of progress up over here has been made as well. I mean, a lot of the. Well, we, we've been paused for a little while right now, but um, I think uh, when we were not paused earlier, we, we, we still made some good progress. And now that the other construction offices are getting involved as well, uh, I feel like we're going to be really picking up the pace over here this is great to see it's just so cool this is like one of my favorite aspects of the game is how uh how all this stuff comes to to life really i really wish this was cleaner oh i gotta make this pipe connection again as well I really god it's gonna bother the crap out of me isn't it but we we can't we, you know what it's fine it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. We're moving on. All right. Oh, man. This is tough for me. It's tough for me because it does bother me. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it bothers me. Uh, but it's fine. Do this. Will you? Oh, are you really too long? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I believe we were kind of like working right at our limits, weren't we, with this one? That's when we... Might be when we learned that there is a maximum length. Some other infrastructures in the way. Oh, come on now. There we go. Perfect. Again, maybe a strong word, but does the job. Good stuff. And and now you'll be getting oil at least every once in a while. There it is. We managed to actually store some up. <laughs> we'll see if that helps sustain fuel production for a little bit longer. All right. Looks like trains aren't struggling because of the under construction stuff yet. Well, I guess it's technically technically not under construction yet, so that's fine. Go ahead and keep it at double speed so we can actually make some progress on, on a variety of things at the same time. And down over here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually remove this um, storage spot over here. I really like this. This was, again, suggested in the comments, and I really quite like the solution. It is a very elegant solution, in my humble opinion. Um, so we're going to uh, try and execute it this way. Um, let's see. I'll probably put my own little twists on it for better or for worse over here at the same time. But one thing we want to do is get a... Passenger platform, train platform, 1,500 passengers. Yeah, that should be enough at any given time. Pop you down over here instead. Right. Like so. 
Hmm. Maybe a little bit lower. Can't do that. Maybe a little bit higher. Sure. Try to line these uh, footpaths up so it won't look hideous afterwards. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and get our um, storage, our vehicle storage, up over here instead. Alright, so something like... So. Oh, come on. Excavator down over here. All good. Use that plentiful money we have. And pop you down over here. There we go. Um, Alright, so that's that. Uh, we also will need to use, and I think I mentioned this last time, our uh, footpath um, mod that we got. Mod. Uh, where are we? Forklift facility. Pedestrian crossing. Yeah, now we've got two versions here. One, I think, is like an underground thing, and the other is above ground. Um, I kind of like the look of the underground thing. I've always wondered why we don't have underground uh, pedestrian crossings and stuff. Um, so we will be able to do that with this, I think. I believe you're the one. I have not seen any talk of, like, uh, one being better than the other or anything like that. Hopefully this... I'm pretty sure this will connect okay. Actually not sure how this functions. This is my first time using this. Pop you down over here. Where's my footpath? Oh, I see. This will just let me cross over it. Oh, weird. Okay, not what I was expecting. Um, I don't know. Don't... Let's see. That is like narrow selection area. Okay. That was like, no, no, no. This is not good. So what's this one? Forklift road. Oh, this one's forklift road and pedestrian. I see, I see, I see. Um, might not be a terrible idea, actually. Because then we could get the uh, road connection over here. Otherwise, the road connection would go where? Up above and around? Seems to be the case. Or it would go down over here. Which maybe I prefer. This starts to look a little clunky up over here, doesn't it? All right, let's, let's start with just the forklift and pedestrian crossing. Pop you down like so. And hopefully this will connect. A decent enough shape. Ah, there we go. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, commission you as well, just so we can see it a bit more clearly, I guess. And then the footpath comes out this way. Um, yeah, go straight across. Up to here. Pull you up. Oh, I see. Well, that's not good. Mm, Alright. Can we hook this up nicely? I think so. Yeah, that works for me. You go up there, or maybe we go straight down. Straight across. I'm trying to find like the most convenient way to get to, to this workplace as well, right? I want it to look neat as well, obviously. But I also want to take into consideration um, desire lines, like where people want to walk, the shortest path versus, you know, what looks best. It looks like people can reach, and this looks okay. Good. Good, good, good. We also, of course, want to connect the footpath from here to here. Question becomes how to get down over here. Uh, for that, I think we'll have to... Maybe get a footpath crossing down over here as well. All right. Go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, a second. Everything's starting to look the same. Okay, so we got the road connection over here. So let's go ahead and cancel this road. Uh, establish you this way. No, let's go ahead and get rid of this as well. Over to our mods, over to the road crossing option. Pop you down over here. Get our road. Hook up there, hook up there, and hook up. Oh, not too sharp of a turn. A lot of the game. Fine. Hook up like so. Fine. Uh, and then the footpath itself would have to get rid of you over to our mods again and get this pedestrian crossing 
option. If it'll fit. Might to move this, uh, might need to move the uh, forklift facility over a bit. Pedestrian crossing. Here. I'm intentionally not connecting it right now because I want to see if our forklift garage will fit. We'll do the infrastructure that's the bottom there. For this road. Back and forth dance over here. Come on now. So, range. They cancel your connections. Don't auto connect. I would like to try and manually connect these guys. Doesn't want to work. Why? Why don't you want to work? If you don't want to work, then how do I make this work? It's like, again, it's like too tightly packed, right? Fair enough, but this really shouldn't be. <laughs> Really shouldn't be. Um, I guess I could use a road instead. That might work better. Demolish this. Uh, where is my modded road crossing option? Perfect spot there. Cool. And then the road can go on this way and connect over here. Uh, from over here, we'll have to, like, do the pedestrian crossing again, right? That is good. It also at least gives our, uh, our, uh, train station a road connection in and out. Move you down here. Do we not? Oop. Back up a bit. There we go. Cool. And the footpath connects like so. Alright. So now we should have a connection to almost everything. This thing needs to actually be built before it'll connect, uh, count it as a connection. But I'm fairly confident that we're good here. This footpath is all the way down there. Alright, it's just easier to walk over then. Um, but I'm fairly confident we're good, because that's 144 meters. Uh, this can't be another 150 meters. Like, it just, it just can't be, right? And again, once we upgrade the roads and stuff, they can move even faster. Or further, sorry. So that should be good. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and commission you. Right, so now we've got passengers arriving over here. We've got vehicle production. Vehicles being dropped off over here. Train to take it away needs to be connected. And down over here, we have our railway production line. Now what we need to do with the railway production line is, as I was saying earlier, uh, last session, I mean, uh, is we need to get ourselves the... Um, I think it would be over here. Oh yeah, I, I got this new mod, by the way, the Central Station mod. It's, uh, it's a pretty pretty nice looking building. Uh, won't have a chance to use it just quite yet, but it's a nice big train station. Um, but that's not the one I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for, where would you be? Storage, perhaps? No, you would not be in storage. That was a long shot of a guess. Uh, cargo station, maybe? Rail yard, there we go, nice. Um, so as you can see, this is kind of, it, it's a, it's a parking spot for, <laughs> for, for trains basically. Um, so I think it'd be quite nice to, to connect that. I'm trying to figure out where I would want to put it to store these trains, um, to then, you know, have them come out. Like, do I put them down over here and then the trains have to like loop around and go out or put it down over here or we'll put it over here and make like a T junction for trains to, to get dropped off and, and scooped back out. This is very this has been a very interesting uh, development, I gotta say. I, I've really enjoyed uh, developing this uh, part of the nation um, because I feel like it's uh, it's so different from... It, it feels like, rather, not that it's so different from anything we've done before, but it feels like a natural progression in complexity. Uh, like, you think about our automobile industry, I, I really feel like we've... Uh, as we've learned more and more, uh, I, I say we, I, I like to say we a lot because I always like to think of things as like collective efforts, especially with like city builders and sims and stuff like that. So uh, pardon my uh, perhaps improper use of, uh, of the word we, but um, I feel like as we've uh, you know gone along, things have been getting more and more complex. Uh, and, and this is just like one of those 
one, one of the, an excellent case of that heightened complexity when you compare it back to our uh, our our vehicle production areas. You know, like we've that was that was very complicated at the time. It was extremely complicated. We had so many moving parts, so many resources coming together at one spot, and then trying to figure out how to use all the modded like you know forklift crossings and garages and stuff to make sure the resources were uh, delivered properly and, and, and effectively and at the right spots and whatnot. Um, figuring out the uh, train movement and stuff for that as well. Like, that was a huge undertaking. And now we have this, which feels like that, except on steroids, right? Like, it feels so much more elevated than even that uh, undertaking was. So it's, 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 it's a fun, it's been a fun, uh, a little nerve-wracking, but a fun development, for sure. All right, cool. We can just about put you down here. Uh, pop you down here. Can we go a little bit further away? Down to here. Because what I'm thinking is... Uh, this is going to be... This is also going to be complicated. Because what I'm thinking is... I want to make sure that our... Trains are able to... Uh, sort themselves. Again, it's not like something we're going to be building all the time. I mean, I don't know. Do you... I guess we could export train pieces, right? Let's go ahead and pop you down. Uh, like so. I think that's far enough. We're not going to auto-build you. Sorry. Not bad. We might auto-build some of this stuff later on, but for now, at least while I'm planning, I don't want anything to just, like, be there for the sake of being there, you know? Okay. Pop you down over... Oh, come on now. Here? Sure. Um, now over to our tracks. There's a couple things to figure out. Not just this, but, but this as well. Um, so passengers... Come down this way. How do they get over here? How do we separate it from this? I mean, maybe they do use this to come down over here, right? We could do um, that. And, oh, that's not what I had in mind. That, right? The passengers they don't really travel for very long over here, but they come down this way. They flip over. They arrive over here, they go back up this way, come up this way, alright, cool. That that seems reasonable. This, I could connect to the same line as well. So there's a bit of overlap, but really not that bad, right? Really not that bad, I don't think. I think this would be fine. Um, the thing is, it would be nice if the passenger trains could continue on down here as well. So basically, you get picked up for work over here. Half of y'all get dropped off over here, the other half continue downwards and get dropped off over here. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Um, again, a bit more of a complex, like, sort of like sort of like what we've got going on over here, right? Like, people get picked up over here, a bunch of them get dropped off over here, and then they continue on down and get dropped off over here. So it's a similar aspect, except on the other side. Makes for a more um, realistic, I guess, train line where, you know, it's not like you you'd hop on the train and it only goes to one destination. No, it's got a bunch of stops along the way, right? So it's a bit more realistic in that way. So in order to enable that, though, I guess I would like to hook these guys up like so, right? Um, oh, come on now. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, obviously, it doesn't work, but it is fun to look at. And I... There we go. So the thinking here is train passenger train comes through, comes down over here, continues on down this way. I feel like this needs to be pulled back a bit so I can have uh, uh, semaphores in the area. Because we're also using this to bypass our warehouse down here, right? Now what is bypassing the warehouse? Our uh, steel... Yeah, our steel delivery is bypassing the warehouse. So that's going around, and then it's switching over to this side and keeping on going. All right, so maybe we do this kind of a thing. Setting up these semaphores is going to be absolute murder for me. Um, all right, so for one, I believe this should be mixed. I believe... Well, hang on. 
I believe these should be chains. Do I want them to be one ways or two ways? Hmm. This is all one way up to here. Probably a good idea to make them one way. If I am going to have a crossing over here though, I guess it would be over here. So somewhere up over here, I would, I would probably put the crossing down. Right? Um, coming through. Guys coming this way. What's the point of this crossing? This crossing exists because this area will probably, we'll probably want to do two-way. All right, so, thanks. Okay, so chain like so. And like so, right side is, yeah. And get you working like so. And eventually over here, do that. And this, I believe. We'll see where exactly this connection will happen, but I'm just kind of like planning this out. Uh, I think that makes sense. This is going to be a hot mess. Alright. Um, can't place the semaphore there. Down over here. Right, so it'll decide based on these guys. Um... It's been a while since I put down uh, put down tracks. Separate block. Pop you down over here because it's all one way. Yes, yeah, it's all one way, right? Um, pop you down over here as well. So a train will wait over here. A train's got through. I think we want to have a semaphore maybe up over here as well. The so train will wait back over here in this blue section if there's a train in this orange section. Uh, so I think that means I would want to have this over here. All right, so the moment the train gets past the orange section, the next train will keep moving. I actually probably want to pull this further Back now that I think about it, but we'll, we'll experiment with it once the trains are actually out there. Uh, or if a train is going this way, then once it's past this orange section, the train will continue onwards. Uh, it'll wait over here until the train goes past the pink section, which I think was more than enough room. I think that's fine. This is where things get messy again. Why must I do this to myself? Why must I do this to myself? Do that. There's a chain over here. This a chain over here. Make this a chain over here. All one ways down this way. Now we also have the option of having a train either be a shuttle between here and here, or also being one that goes from there all the way through, right? That's why, like, that's why, that's... Having the double track back over here allows a train to go back at the same time as one coming through if, uh, if we want to do that. Uh, otherwise, the passenger trains will be going up this main line. Right, on their way back, they won't stop up over here. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Keeps this keeps this central keeps this circle uh, as a, as a one way. Oh god. In theory, this should work. All right, so you come. So now here, a train. I want this to be separate, right? Right now, it's looking at this as one block, and I don't want these guys to be blocked off at the same time. I would want a mixed signal over here. What about over here, though? I do... Oh, come on now. Damn it. I do this. Guess I would want to do that. The train doesn't occupy. That seems to make sense. God, this is it's way too it's way too early in the day for me to be thinking about this stuff. Oh my God, I apologize <laughs> in advance retroactively or or um not retroactively but uh, but but you know preemptively preemptively I apologize. Um, all right, we keep moving down here. 
Rain's in the pink area. You're not going to go through. You're going to be stuck up there. You're going to be stuck up there. That's fine. Goes down here. This is obviously one giant section, which is not what we want. We do want this to be like so. And here, like so. We'll wait. I believe we can put probably a train down over here as well. Or, or a semaphore down over here. I, I believe that's a long enough length for a train to pass through. Maybe maybe not. That's that's not a big deal. This we can adjust uh, later as well. Okay, jeez, I really hope this works. Okay. Let ourselves get a little distracted there, but that, that this makes sense now, right? This makes sense. Now here is where things will be a little bit messier. So we've got you and you. We do have... These guys able to connect like so. Right, that 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 makes that makes sense. Question is getting out of here. Crossing not allowed. Yeah. Yeah, this might be a little too tightly packed actually. Maybe just a little too tightly packed. Carpet turn. I'm gonna have to do a slightly different approach to, to this entire area, I think. We, there we go. Building on fire, which one? Oxelinski storage. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, looks like a fire truck has already arrived. Looks like two are arriving. Oh yeah, we'll be good. Okay, I was a little worried there. I was like, Oxalinsky, I can't remember the last time we had a fire there. Uh, but it looks like it's been taken care of. Okay, so back over here, that's all good. But can we... Oh, they don't need locomotives to, to move out, I've been told. Oh, boy. Yeah, we might need a little bit more room over here. Just, just a little bit more room. <laughs> yeah, okay, almost definitely. Uh, unless I'm able to tighten this up at all. Which I don't think I will be able to do. Come on. I wonder why the game is... Uh, acting up with this mod. Oh, I guess... Right, it is a mod. Yeah, I don't think this is going to fly here. Again, I guess not all of these have to be connected. That's that's, that's also a, a thing, I suppose. Would be nice though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rework this. I think I have to push this back a little bit so we're able to uh, have our T junction here, as well as uh, as well as connections to this. Cause like, yeah, man, we're gonna need to. Do this differently. Come up this way. Come up this way. Need you to like come down to here. Again, this will be pushed back, right? But you uh, up there, let's say. Wait, no. Hook you up. It's game. Oh my god, this is always so painful. Like, come on. There we go. So... Hook this up. Like, over here, and hook this up. That doesn't make any sense. One on the right side, go to the right side. But on the right side, sticking on the right side. Yeah, okay. One of those, one of those days. This is also not looking very neat. Anyway, point being, you know what? This this whole section uh, needs to be reworked. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We'll need to. Well, I, I make it sound like it's a huge undertaking. We just basically, I think, we will need to shift this um, yard back. So we have a bit more room to play over here, and then uh, and then rework the the connections over here. I mean, the other option, of course, is to not do a T-junction and to just make this kind of follow through 
Uh, but I feel like that's going way too far and wide. I would rather try and like compact this a little bit. I feel like that would do the trick. But overall though, I think good progress in this area. We figured out the passenger situation. This was a bit more of a mess than anticipated, but I, I do quite think it works nicely. We're ready to connect our tracks more or less. Again, we'll wait until everything's up and running really. But, uh, but yeah, this area still needs to be done. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, over the course of this episode, we have made a lot of progress up over here. Quite a few of these buildings have been completed. A few more are about to be completed. Looks like our, uh, oh, I mean, this number is still rising, but when we eventually dive in there and start scooping people up and dropping them off, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll drop this number significantly. It's 3,800. One of these houses, 368. Let's say, let's say 300 and, let's say 300 for a quick math, right? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, hold on. This one's different. This one's five hundred. You know what? Let's let's say let's say three hundred. Uh, again, for quick math over here. Or what I could do is four, eight. We can start with just eight. Uh, eight times three hundred. Eight times three is twenty-four. Leave the two zeros over, right? And then plus another five hundred each. That's another thousand. So that's actually very close to taking care of our entire 21 plus situation. So this is this is good. This is actually huge. Uh, what we'll need to sort out is the uh, the work situation after the fact, obviously. But that's uh, that's uh, that's a whole other problem for another time. Uh, next time, I think we will finally get this tourist area up and running. It's been waiting for uh, long enough, I think. Uh, these guys have not been, uh, we're getting some workers down over here, actually. It's better than it was before. There's that, but still, still not enough. So we'll get this up and running next time, and we'll also continue to chip away at, uh, not this, but, well, that too, but that's automated, but this, this area. I'm hoping to have it all sorted out next time. Um, I'm hoping to have, yeah, I feel like we've figured out our worker arrival. We figured out our vehicle storage, um... That was, again, both of these were more of an undertaking than expected. We've also figured out the situation down over here, which, you know, again, like I said earlier, I feel like these are intrinsically tied together in, uh, in their, uh, in, in their, in their workings, right? Getting, getting passengers to the right spots, getting workers to the right spots, getting the, uh, the raw materials to the right spots as well. Hopefully this is all going to work out all right as we, uh, probably kick it off in the next, you know, two, three or episodes maybe all this will be up and running between planning it and executing it a lot of it i think we're just going to pay for uh, that way we can solve the employment problem pretty quickly and then we move on to the uh, nuclear plans um across the river we should actually start planning that sooner rather than later so that we can build the bridges and stuff that are required uh like we did with um you know our expansion down south of the river well folks if it wasn't clear already this is what we're going to call it a session I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly did. Again, these str these train struggles, man. Um, I, I again, I I feel like I feel like this is all making sense to me. But if I'm wrong, feel absolutely free to to point out what I might have messed up over here. Um, feel like maybe I've overcomplicated some of these sections, or maybe some of these sections are a little too tightly packed. Like maybe maybe this is a little too. Uh, tightly packed over here. Maybe it could actually be like you know, this sort of a thing, and that gives us some more room to, to maneuver over here and whatnot. Um, but uh... Okay, at least, there we go. Oh, right, right. We have the crossing over here. That's why. A anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out again. Some of this stuff will need finessing afterwards, I think, um, when I see these things working. But again, if you spot any major problems, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, it's quite nice to see the, uh, the colors in place. I like that they added that. This is, uh, this is intense, man. This game is intense. The size of this thing. Anyway, folks, like I said, this is what we're calling this session. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. As always as well, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.